All right, this is going to be the tarot reading for the sign of Aries for September 2020. I do apologize. I've taken a break from YouTube for a while. Had a lot going on, but I'm coming back. Uh, I do offer personal readings. I also accept donations. I'm going to go ahead and put my cash app information on this video. If you would like to book a reading, you have to contact me on my email. I will also put that on here. Uh, it will be popping up somewhere um, as I'm speaking. Um, time is fluid. It's an illusion. You can hear this whenever you're meant to hear this. Um, so even though it says September, you can hear this in October of 2022 and it could still resonate with you because this is just an illusion. All right, past energy. This is for Aries. Present energy. Again, if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, this could resonate with you. You might want to check out other videos as well if you have anything else in your chart. All right, that's, this is past, present, future. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups in the reverse as the overall energy. Okay. <clears throat> in the past, you have the Three of Swords. Uh, you have came out of heartbreak in regards to something. And it seems like you were kind of hit uh, with some type of emotional loss that you did not expect here with this Three of Swords. We have the Emperor, you, uh, Aries. I feel like you took control of the situation and control of your life. You move forward. You stopped making foolish decisions that got you there with the fool in the reverse. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could also be dealing with another Aries. Uh, you kind of said to your, kind of checked yourself and said, I need to stop making these foolish decisions or else I'm not going to get anywhere in life. I'm acting like a clown. <laughs> There's a clown in reverse. Uh, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. The reason why you've done this is because I feel like you think that... Um, there's somebody around you, or this could be you or the other person because energies are interchangeable, is losing love for you with the Ace of Cups in the reverse. You might be losing more than you gaining with the decisions that you've made. Justice is here, which is the Karma card. You could also be dealing with a Libra. Uh, I feel like, um, like you could be dealing with some type of separation as well or some type of legal problems. Um... But I feel like the worst is over here with the Ace of Wands. You have a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. I feel like you're kind of trying to reinvent yourself. This is a salamander. It almost looks like a chameleon to me. I feel like you're kind of in introspect and trying to figure out what it is that you're going to do. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse here in the future position. I feel like you're kind of carefree at this moment. Um, this could also be the person that you're dealing with. This person could be very in and out. Of your life I feel like that energy you're ending it with the world um, so you are looking for stability this month Aries we have the five of ones in reverse you're also looking to stop um, to stop the conflict in your life the reason why is because you're dealing with a soulmate here with the six of cups who's slowly losing love for you this could be them or you I'm gonna go ahead and clarify the Six of Cups is somebody from the past. Soulmate energy. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Five of Cups. You were left out in the cold or, or your partner was left out in the cold and this really hurt you. Okay? So there was some type of shock here with this Five of Cups. You can see this person's looking at that and I'm like, oh, I remember when. Okay? Let's clarify the emperor. Why is the emperor here? The six of swords in reverse. You can't. There's somebody around you you cannot walk away from, and they got you stuck in your head. Uh, so since that happened, you decided to take control of the situation with the emperor energy. Let's clarify the fool in reverse. We have the fool in the right up. So I feel like yes, you or the person that you're dealing with is learning lessons along the way. In regards of how to act around you or the foolish decisions they've made. Or this could be you. The person that you're dealing with. Uh, name could start with an L, U, C, R, and A. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups in reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups here in reverse? Who's losing love for who? What's going on? 
we have the high priestess in reverse. Um, somebody is losing interest in the situation because they've lacked, because you or them has lacked the intuition in it. So somebody needs to listen to their intuition a little bit more in order for the situation to kind of move forward. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? Justice is here because of the Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with another fire sign uh, who is very fiery, kind of like a spitfire. This person is small. She likes to wear red lipstick. Um, she could have light hair. This could be you or them. Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Let's clarify this Ace of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. You have a new beginning here. Um, I think that you or the person that you're dealing with has invested a lot of even time, money, effort into a situation. And I feel like now they're, they're getting their karma balance. It's coming, it's coming in. Uh, Knight of Wands in the reverse. Why is the Knight of Wands in the reverse? The Ace of Wands in the reverse. So this Knight of Wands energy is done. Uh, I'm getting a download saying something about Saturn return. Somebody's Saturn return. Uh, Saturn rotates around the, around the, uh, comes back to towards the Earth every 27 years. Somebody's Saturn return is done. The world. The world, the end of the Knight of Wands energy. No more Knight of Wands. No more in and out. I feel like commitment's coming to your life. Uh, Aries. Why is the Five of Wands here in the reverse? The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You or the person that you're dealing with has realized that this conflict and competition of the Five of Wands is doing nothing but damaging their foundation, even monetarily. Let's clarify the Six of Cups in the reverse for Aries. The Nine of Wands. Or is it the Ten of Wands? So the person that you're dealing with, this soulmate, they're losing, they're losing interest in you because they feel like you're a burden. They feel like it's too much for them, all right? All right, if you would like a personal reading, you know where to contact me. I'll put my information right here. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to go ahead and pull out three oracle cards for you, and then I'll wrap this up for you, Aries. If I'm speaking too fast, go ahead and press. Um, you can you can slow it down on here um, below. You just, you just got to click around like at the bottom. All right. Let's see, three cards for Aries. Go outside, you've been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. All right, want two more? Bold, unleash your adventurous side. Take risks, take risks and be daring. The spirit of Freya. One more. Leap of faith, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. I feel like you wanna take a risk really bad here, Aries. I feel like you want to jump into something, and I feel like this is it for you. I feel like you just need to make better decisions from now on. All right, Aries? All right. See you next month. Bye.